Happy Wednesday, and I'm glad you're joining me for today's daily devotional. It was about a week and a half ago, and we were dyeing Easter eggs. And we'd gotten a neon dye pack, so our eggs were turning out beautiful. Here's one of them. It is purple and pink and ooh, really pretty and bright. And we had this pink and orange beautiful Easter egg. We even had some of these like wrap things that you put on the Easter egg. You put them in boiling water and these kind of suction around them so we could make them even more fancy. And uh, we also had a pack of green glitter that came with our dye pack. So after I had dyed one of the eggs kind of a bluish green color, I thought this would be the perfect one to use that glitter. So I dumped the glitter onto the egg and some of it went on the counter and some of it kind of stuck to the egg, but it wasn't really working that well. So then I dumped some of the glitter in my hand and kind of rubbed my hands around on the egg. And I ended up with this beautiful egg with some green glitter on it. So very pretty. But as you know, if you've ever done any crafts, glitter is so messy. After you use glitter on a craft, you find glitter all over the house, all over your clothes, all over your hands, often on your face and other places that you didn't even use the glitter in parts of the house and you'll still find little pieces of glitter everywhere. That was my experience with these Easter eggs. When I put the egg in the fridge, the glitter got all over the refrigerator and still now we're fighting glitter everywhere. Now, you're probably thinking, how is she ever going to tie glitter into a Bible lesson? Because pretty sure glitter did not exist when the Bible was written. And you'd be right. But what it did remind me of was Jesus' teaching about the yeast of the Pharisees. Let me read to you, glitter everywhere, from Matthew 16, verse 5. The disciples went across the lake and they forgot to take bread. Jesus says, be careful, be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now, the disciples were really confused by this warning. They thought that Jesus was like upset with them for forgetting to take bread. And they were just discussing that amongst themselves. But of course, Jesus knew what they were talking about. And he says, are you kidding me? Do you really think I'm talking about bread? Of course not. Don't you remember that I had five loaves and I fed 5,000 people and I had seven loaves and I fed 4,000 people. I am not talking about bread here. And then he says in verse 11, how is it you don't understand that I'm not talking to you about bread, but be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees. And Sadducees. Jesus understood that the teachings of the Pharisees and Sadducees would be like the yeast in bread. Just a little bit of yeast put into bread can get work its way throughout the entire loaf, causing the whole loaf to change. I would say the same is, is with this glitter. Just a little bit of this glitter seems to make its way all over our house all over our face, our clothes, everywhere, just like the evil teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees did in the Bible times. Jesus was reminding them, he was warning them to be careful not to let any of these evil teachings infect them so that they would spread throughout all over them. Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for stories like this in the Bible that just remind us to keep evil out of our lives, Lord. We thank you for reminding us that just a little bit of evil, just like a little bit of yeast or a little bit of glitter, can go such a long way. We thank you for stories like this that help us to re always remember that. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week.